Now that the swash plate's level, we can go on and set up the pitch, and that's what we're here for. So we're gonna do it in three steps. We're gonna make sure the blades are gonna track, we're gonna find zero pitch, and then finally, we're gonna set up our pitch curve. The first thing we need to do is make sure that the blades are in track. And we're not really gonna track the blades, but we're gonna make sure that the blade grips are at the same pitch angle. So turn on your radio, but make sure the laser pitch gauge is in one of the grips and shine it on the wall and mark that point. Should be somewhere around zero pitch, but it doesn't have to be perfect. Now take the pitch gauge out of that grip, turn the head 180 degrees, put the pitch gauge in the other grip and shine it toward that mark. If it doesn't line up with the mark, use your pitch links to adjust the angle of the blade grip until it does. And once you get it over the mark, go ahead and verify by taking it out of that grip, turning the head 180, put it back in the original grip and make sure it still lines up just to make sure that the machine didn't get disturbed. Okay, now we need to find zero pitch and there's a couple ways to do it. Um, the way I like to do it is if my grips use four millimeter bolts, I get a four millimeter fly bar, I cut it in half, and I stick that in the blade bolt holes. And then I adjust the pitch until they're parallel with each other. And that's zero pitch and it's as simple as that. I've seen guys fold the blades back until the, and adjust the pitch until the tips are even. That's a lot of strain on the servos, and I'm not, I'm not terribly convinced that it's really that accurate. Um, it's going to be right around zero pitch, though. Now, if you had a couple uh, blades that were busted and you cut them to like 10 inches, uh, that'd probably work a lot better. There's just a lot less strain on the system if the blades are shorter. So once you determine zero pitch, then we can get on with setting the pitch, and that's what we're here for. Well, we finally get to set the pitch now. We know where zero is, and that's where the laser's shining right now, so we're going to mark that spot. You can take all the other tape off the wall, give the kitchen back to the wife, all but the kitchen table or if you work in your workshop, you've got a favorite distance from the wall that you like to work, or if you don't now, you will. Mine is 65 inches. So I measure 65 inches from the wall, and then I determine my high pitch, my low pitch, and my center stick, which is zero. And I know at 65 inches, 11 degrees is 12 and 5 eighths inches. So I measure up from 0, 12 and 5 eighths, and I put a mark. I measure down from 0, 12 and 5 eighths, and I put a mark. And then I simply adjust my pitch curve so when the stick is in that position, that's my pitch. So actually setting the pitch is the easiest part of using the laser pitch gauge. I sure hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you get a lot of use out of your your new tool. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.